My advice for students doing community-based research is to listen, to think about what it means to have really good listening skills, but it also requires that the students um, are good initiators of conversation. So it's a very interesting combination of being able to talk and being able to listen. Um, my other advice for students who want to be doing community-based research is um, that they, they need personal skills that make them attractive or engaging to their audience, their intended audience. So I think those skills include being friendly, warm, poised, and focused. So I guess uh, one of the first things is um, to manage your expectations. And uh, I guess one of the most important things as students is that you know, you kind of go into it thinking that you're going to change the world or that, you know, your idea is going to be the best idea that the communities are automatically going to be really drawn to and really excited and passionate about. And that's not always the case. So uh, the number one thing I would say is um, listen first and then uh, take what you learn, reflect on it, um, you know, kind of uh, muddle about it in your, in your brain, in your mind and, and identify how you can and help or provide support and then go back to the community with your ideas and work with them towards a solution. The advice I'd give a student doing a community-based project is plan it out from the beginning and uh, try and stick with your timelines. Uh, community organizations often need some lead time to review uh, a draft report. They can't turn it around in the last minute. So uh, it takes some time to plan it in advance. And one of the things to make sure you plan in is some kind of debriefing with the community organization uh, before your final report is due so that you can get their feedback and then incorporate it into the final product that you give your prof and that you give the organization. Real partnerships are, I think are vital, if, particularly for students if they want to get excited about something that is, is real to them. Um, my experience with community-based research partnerships, um, community campus partnerships that use community-based research is students feel connected, um, they feel a sense of belonging and um, they meet real people and they feel less alienated and they get out of the classroom. As a community organization, knowledge and evidence, it, it's like a three-legged stool. Uh, and if you don't have the, the you know, uh, really good, strong evidence, and, and you know, in, in all it's, uh, in, in all that means, if you don't have that, you don't have the case for what you're doing. You're going on gut instinct, you're going on what you think is right, you're basing it on philosophy, uh, on, on a belief system. Um, and quite frankly, we're often wrong. Uh, we often believe things that are valid and research evidence proves us right or wrong and it allows us to adapt. So to me, it's, it's a, a vital part of the evolution of the services that we offer or the in, involvement that we have with the community or the purposes that we're, that we're meant to achieve, our, our raison d'etre. Um, so without that kind of evidence, I think we, uh, uh, we're just like that three-legged stool and we fall over and it's hard to convince uh, funders, the public, uh, our clients, uh, donors, um, everybody who kind of supports us, uh, if, you, if you can't give them hard evidence as well as impassioned evidence, um, you're, you, you fail, you fall, you fall over, it just doesn't work, or certainly it doesn't work as well.